All right, check it out. Um, I will say this, I've never had the apple turnover, cherry turnover, strawberry turnover. I've never had a uh, turnover dessert from the folks over at Arby's, but in, uh, not in this bag, it's not in this bag. It's off to the side because it got a little messy when I was <laughs> filming the thumbnail. So right here is an empty bag, little ginger toss, and we're gonna check out the new First time ever from Arby's pumpkin pie turnover dessert. It's right there. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna take a couple bites. Do the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. So pumpkin pie is my second favorite pie behind chocolate cream. So right here, it's freshly baked, flaky turnover with a sweet pumpkin pie filling topped with cream cheese icing. So there it is. There it is. And I think what they got going on, unless they always do this, they try to make it look like a football with like the laces. But because they don't have a vessel that they deliver this to you in, I know it came in the bag, but they should have a box of some kind. They just wrap it up in this, and when you take it off, you like it rips all the um, cream cheese off right there. But I'm excited. Ooh. The lady at the uh, drive-thru said, supposedly it's pretty darn good. So let's get right into it. Pumpkin pie turnover, brand new dessert from Arby's. Tis the season. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, so listen. Right off Jump Street, what I like about this. is the fact that they're calling it a pumpkin pie turnover and not a pumpkin spice turnover. There's a difference. And for this guy, me, having it be pumpkin pie uh, sweet filling instead of pumpkin spice makes a lot of difference. I was almost gonna say makes all the difference, but there have been some pumpkin spice things that I've enjoyed, but I like this. And it's a decent amount of filling. Man, I'm gonna have to Gonna have to vacuum today. Look at that. Flaky, croissanty, another bite. Mmm. Oh. That was the money bite. Mmm. Cream cheese, kind of bringing it all together. That's a really good pumpkin pie filling little different than what I'm used to. I can't explain it. I don't know if it's just more sweet than pumpkin. It's still there. It's still all there and it's still very good, but it's not replicating like um, one of my favorite pumpkin pies over the years. But I will say, kind of look at it now, you can see the like the, uh, flakiness and the layers of like the croissant. But also with that first, that uh, second bite gone, you see there's not much of the filling left right there. This was $2.29. I think that's the price on all of their uh, turnovers. Speaking of turnovers, I don't know if Alabama had a lot of turnovers, but great game, and they beat number four Georgia. Pretty sure they will now jump up, not number four Georgia, we were number four. We beat number two Georgia, so I'm hoping Alabama will be uh, number two in the rankings when the new rankings come out, uh, right behind Texas. But as for these turnovers, the last couple bites, you know, gonna have less of the filling and that's what you get in some of these things. But final bite, we'll give it a rating. The pumpkin pie turnover. Do you have to like pumpkin pie? Sure. Do you have to like uh, turnovers? Not so much. If you don't like turnovers, I don't understand. And what is a turnover? Is it like a um, cross between a croissant and just some type of pastry? And they just call it a turnover? Or do they actually, is there a physical turnover process going on? I don't know. Mm-hmm. 
say bye-bye to the filling. All right, so listen, this is really good. This was my dessert. I just filmed the Curter Burger. It has returned from um, Culver's. You probably already saw that video. And then I shot over to Arby's for dessert. Root beer, Culver's brand. So like I was saying, bye-bye to the filling. See what I'm saying? So was this good? Yes. Should it have been $1.99? Yes. Should there have been more filling? Yes. A lot of yeses, <laughs> there should be no's. So I'm kind of done with that. I was all about the uh, filling. And now that the filling is gone, I'm gone. Bye-bye. So give it a rating, 1 to 100. It's a solid dessert, a tad overpriced. Not that much uh, filling on the inside. Three bites and you saw I was done. 1 to 100, a solid... Let's go 83 on that. I almost said um, 84, and I also said 81, but I didn't say either of those. We're going to give it a solid 83, and that's the uh, rating, and I'm sticking to it. There you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing... There you go. Light up the comments. Let me know what your favorite pie is. And are you someone that likes a certain pie when it's not the holidays? But then at the holidays, your favorite is um, pumpkin or sweet potato or rhubarb or apple. Or you like apple throughout the whole year, but at the end of the year, you kind of go over to something else. Like I said, I'm a chocolate cream pie uh, type of guy, uh, but I do love pumpkin as my second uh, option. Um, what else? Coconut cream is really good as well. I'm a fan of the cream pies. All right. Thank you so much. Light up the comments. Are you going to try this? Did you agree with this review? Were you happy that I took a bite before the four minute mark? Shots fired. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. All right, quick bonus footage. This is just like a mess since I've never eaten a turnover from Arby's. Did it ever come in like a box or any type of a vessel that would prevent it this? Cause it's like I had to unwrap it and all the uh, cream cheese came off. So let me know if you know, did they ever give this to you in anything different than a um, piece of wax paper? So I'm interested to hear. Thank you again. And now I'm out.